Some lawmakers are pushing for much tougher penalties if your dog attacks someone. They want to issue felony charges if that attack is serious enough. It's all called Lillian's Law, named after a Milam County woman who was fatally mauled by her neighbor's dogs. KV's Amy Johnston reports all new at 6. Jessica Graham loves her dog, Avery. I have a mutt, the best kind to have. And says she's a responsible pet owner. But she says a bill that makes it a felony if her dog kills or causes serious bodily injury goes too far. Obviously, you're responsible for your dog as the owner, but dogs can be uncontrollable. They're animals. I mean, everybody knows that. So I feel like I don't think that's fair to be a felony. That's a very serious offense. I pray that the legislature listens this time. This group disagrees. Representative Dan Gaddis authored the bill to change the laws involving pet attacks. People are losing children. They're losing their loved ones because of people who are not responsible for pets, for dogs. The laws currently... The bill would be named after Lillian Stiles, who was killed by her neighbor's dog. The dog's owner was charged with criminally negligent homicide, but a jury acquitted him last month. Shelby is definitely our little miracle. Shelby was attacked by a Rottweiler when she was about a year old. You know, to have this done to a little bitty, innocent, uncorrupted child is just unbelievable. No one will, unless they've been in that position, no, none of these dog owners will know. It's okay, Scary. But still, some yeah, dog owners are not convinced, especially well, if a person survives the attack. I think that's going a little overboard, you know, because that's ruining somebody's life. I mean, felony, you can barely get a job at McDonald's. And that was Amy Johnston reporting. Now, here's a look at the proposed punishment. Serious bodily injury would be a third-degree felony. That's punishable by 2 to 10 years. Deadly attack would be a second-degree felony with 2 to 20 years. Final sentencing would be up to a jury, and it does have the option of probation and or fines. Who let the dogs out? <laughs>